Close your eyes and make up your mind you're going to stay with the breath. The making up your mind is the important point here. Because as the Buddha said, we bring our intentions into the present moment. In fact, that's one of the first things we sense in a present moment is what our intention is. And then based on that, the things we see and hear and smell, taste, touch, think about, get conditioned. So the intention is going to shape things either in the direction of suffering or in the direction of not suffering. So you have to be very clear about what your intention is. Make sure it's skillful. Here the intention is to get the mind under control. Because if you can't control your intentions, it's like taking the keys to your car and giving them to a crazy person. The crazy person has no responsibility and drive your car all over the place. Then get out, walk away, and leave you with the damage. So be very careful about what your intention is. Once you've found a good intention, stick with it. Then we practice concentration in order to develop that ability to hold on to an intention, regardless of what else is happening. The Buddhist term anupasana means to follow and to see, literally. And basically it means you keep track of something. In this case, you keep track of that one intention as you go through the day. And of course, you're going to see and hear and smell and taste and touch and think about other things. But you don't want them to make you lose that thread. Hold on to your intention that you want to do only things that are skillful. Any impulses that come up into the mind that are unskillful, you want to let them go. And you want to be able to come from a place of comfort as you do this. This is why the meditation is not simply a matter of being with whatever comes up. You actually actively create a sense of well-being here by the way you breathe, by the way you think, by the way you focus the mind. When you bring more knowledge and skill to your intentions, then what you experience in the present moment and what you're going to experience in the future will get better and better. You begin to realize the power of your intentions. And the extent to which they shape your experience, you'll find out, will go a lot deeper than you think. So try to be very clear about the conscious intentions you're going to focus on, that you're going to hold to. And the more you can stay with that clarity, the more you see the subconscious and barely conscious intentions as well and you'll be in a better position to deal with them. So breathe in a way that feels good. Make up your mind you're going to stay here with a sense of well-being, with a sense of balance, a sense of being grounded. And then stitch together that intention with the next moment and the next moment and the next moment. This is what mindfulness is for stitches these things together so that they have power and momentum. And that your good intentions can take control of your life.